In the year 490 BC, a confrontation of epic proportions unfolded on this very ground. The mighty Persian Empire, an unstoppable force, set its sights on a target that seemed easy to conquer, the city-states of Greece. This is the story of the Battle of Marathon, a clash that didn't just shape history, but rewrote the rules of warfare and marked the birth of a legend. The Persian Empire, under King Darius I, was a colossus straddling continents. Its hunger for expansion knew no bounds. By the dawn of the 5th century BC, Persia's gaze turned to Greece, a land fragmented into city-states but united in their love for freedom. Athens, a beacon of democracy and culture, found itself in the crosshairs of the Persian behemoth. The stage was set for a showdown that would echo through the ages. Our tale begins with the Ionian Revolt. Greek cities in Ionia, under Persian rule, rose in rebellion. Athens, sympathizing with their plight, dared to defy Persia, burning the city of Sardis, a move that ignited King Darius's wrath like never before. Darius swore vengeance against Athens. Master, remember the Athenians, became a daily reminder of his burning desire to crush this audacious city. Darius's massive invasion force set sail towards Greece. Their first stop, the city of Eretria, which fell swiftly to Persian might. Next was Athens. The Athenians, vastly outnumbered, faced an existential threat. Their response? To stand and fight. For their democracy, their way of life, for Greece itself. And so, the stage was set for a battle that would not just determine the fate of one city, but the very course of Western civilization. The plains of Marathon, where our story unfolds, were chosen by the Athenians for their strategic advantage. The terrain, with its marshes and hills, negated the Persian cavalry, a key component of their war machine. Under the command of General Miltiades, the Athenian army, bolstered by a small but valiant force from Plataea, marched to Marathon. They blocked the two exits from the plains, trapping the Persians. Athens sent its swiftest runner, Phaedipides, to Sparta to seek aid. The Spartans, bound by a religious festival, could not immediately come to their rescue. Athens stood alone. For five tense days, the two armies faced each other. The Athenians fortified their position, while the Persians, unsure of their next move, waited. Every passing day was a small victory for Athens, as it brought the Spartans closer. The Athenian command, led by Miltiades, knew that time was of the essence. Despite the absence of Spartan reinforcements, they prepared for an offensive, a bold move against a superior enemy. As night fell on the eve of battle, the Athenian soldiers, outnumbered and outmatched, knew the dawn would bring a fight for their lives, for their homes, and for history itself. The Battle of Marathon was not just a clash of armies, it was a clash of ideologies, of empires and city-states, of despotism and democracy. It was a battle that would define the very spirit of Western civilization. As the sun rose over Marathon, the Athenians, in a daring and unexpected move, attacked. Miltiades, employing brilliant tactics, strengthened his army's flanks. He lured the Persians into attacking his center. Then, with a masterstroke, the Athenian flanks enveloped the enemy. The battle raged, a maelstrom of steel and shield. The Persians, famed for their military prowess, found themselves outmaneuvered, their strategy undone by the audacious Greeks. In a turn of events that stunned the ancient world, the Persian army broke. They fled towards their ships, pursued by the victorious Greeks. The battlefield was a testament to the Athenian valor and strategy. The Battle of Marathon was over. The Athenians had achieved the unthinkable, a decisive victory over the mightiest empire of the age. Marathon was more than a military victory. It was a triumph of the human spirit, a victory for democracy over despotism. It was a beacon of hope that illuminated the path for future generations. As the dust settled over Marathon, the enormity of what had transpired began to dawn. Athens, a small city-state, had defied the odds and defeated the Persian juggernaut. This battle, however, was more than a mere military victory. It was a symbol of resistance against overwhelming odds. In the aftermath of this monumental victory, a tale of human endurance and spirit emerged, one that resonates through the ages. It is the story of Phidippides, an Athenian herald. Phidippides was tasked with bringing the news of the Greek victory back to Athens. His journey, from the fields of Marathon to the heart of Athens, was a race against time, spanning approximately 26 miles. 
But Pheidippides, driven by the urgency of his message and the weight of his duty, ran with all his might. His run, fueled by sheer determination and the joy of victory, was a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit. Upon reaching Athens, Pheidippides delivered his message, We have won, before collapsing from the sheer exertion. His journey, though it cost him his life, became a symbol of triumph over adversity. This legendary run of Pheidippides inspired the creation of the marathon race, a key event in the modern Olympic Games. Today, runners from all corners of the globe participate in marathons, each a tribute to the extraordinary feat of that ancient runner. The marathon race is not just a sporting event, it is a celebration of human endurance, a reminder of the bravery and resilience shown at the Battle of Marathon. Thus, the legacy of Marathon and Pheidippides continues, bridging the ancient and the modern, reminding us that the spirit of courage and determination is timeless. The Battle of Marathon was not only a defining moment in history, but also the birth of a tradition that challenges and inspires us to this day. The route from Marathon to Athens, once a messenger's path, now a hallowed track, symbolizes the enduring legacy of an ancient battle and the human spirit's capacity to endure, to strive, and to triumph. This victory, however, was not just a moment of glory, but a catalyst for further conflict. The defeat at Marathon was a blow to the Persian Empire. Darius, humiliated by the loss, began preparations for an even larger invasion. The entire Greek world was now under threat. The Battle of Marathon was a watershed moment in the Greco-Persian Wars. It marked the beginning of a struggle that would last for decades. A struggle not just for territory, but for the very soul of Western civilization. In the two centuries that followed, the classical Greek civilization flourished. The ideals of democracy, philosophy, and the arts, nurtured in this fertile ground, would go on to shape the Western world as we know it. Marathon, thus, was not just a physical victory, it was the safeguarding of a cultural legacy. But let's not forget the human cost. For the warriors who fought and fell at Marathon, this was a battle for their homes, their families, their way of life. Each shield raised, each spear thrust, was a statement of their resolve to defend their freedom at any cost. The legacy of Marathon extends far beyond the battlefield. It is a story that has been told and retold through generations, a narrative of courage against insurmountable odds. Amidst the aftermath of the Battle of Marathon, a moment of reflection and unity emerged among the Greeks. They had not only defended their freedom, but had also sent a message to the world that the spirit of democracy, valor, and unity could overcome the most formidable adversaries. It was in the wake of this triumph that Athens, inspired by their victory, embarked on a golden age of enlightenment. The great Athenian statesman, Themistocles, proposed the construction of a powerful navy to safeguard their maritime interests and preparedness for future Persian threats. This decision would prove crucial in the later Greco-Persian Wars, most notably during the Battle of Salamis. The legacy of Marathon was etched not only in the annals of military history, but also in the cultural and intellectual achievements of the Athenians. The city became a center of learning, nurturing philosophers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, and artists like Phidias and Aeschylus. This period laid the foundations for the enduring contributions of Greece to Western philosophy, art, and governance. As the Greeks celebrated their victory at Marathon, they were also setting the stage for the broader cultural and intellectual blossoming that would define Western civilization. It was in the fertile soil of ancient Greece that the seeds of democracy, reason, and humanism were sown. And from that legacy, our modern world has flourished. Today, the spirit of Marathon lives on in the Marathon Race, a global event that challenges the limits of human endurance. This race, a homage to the legendary run of Pheidippides, is a testament to the enduring legacy of the Battle of Marathon. Marathon was more than a clash of armies. It was a defining moment in the history of Europe and the Mediterranean. It set the stage for the rise of classical Greek civilization, a beacon of learning, art, and democratic principles. As we look back on this pivotal moment in history, we are reminded of the power of human resilience and the enduring spirit of freedom. The Battle of Marathon was not just a victory for Athens, it was a victory for all of humanity. The plains of Marathon, silent now, are hallowed ground, a reminder of the day when Greece stood against the might of Persia and changed the course of history, the clash that changed history, indeed. History. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.